5G is the cause of corona? As the coronavirus sweeps the globe, so do do rumors about what caused it or how it spread. One that has gained steam online is that new 5G networks caused the disease. That's completely wrong. Radio waves don't create viruses, which is what causes COVID-19. Carrie Hilson, an American singer with 4.2 million followers on Twitter, on Sunday sent several tweets that attempted to link the coronavirus to 5G. She wrote, people have been trying to warn us about 5G for years. Petitions, organizations, studies, what we're going through is the effects, sick, of radiation. 5G launched in China. November 1, 2019. People dropped dead. Others on YouTube and Facebook, including an anti-5G Facebook group, have also shared false claims. A Facebook user named Ben Mackey earlier this month linked 5G to the coronavirus, saying in part that it's not actually a virus. They are trying to get you scared of a fake-ass virus when at the 5G towers being built around the world, he said. He also claimed that Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates invented the technology and that it's an effort to depopulate the world. And Mackey said that vaccines being developed for the coronavirus are actually chips that will be implanted in people. This story about 5G has no credence scientifically and is certainly a potential distraction, as is other such misinformation, from controlling the COVID-19 epidemic, said Dr. Jonathan M. Samet, a professor at the Colorado School of Public Health. Brendan Carr, who serves on the Federal Communications Commission, on Monday tweeted that Hilson's effort to link 5G to the coronavirus is straight from the most dangerous depths of tinfoil hat land. He noted that COVID-19 is a virus that's spread person-to-person -person contact, not by radio waves, and he reiterated that the FCC, Food and Drug Administration, and Environmental Protection Agency all say 5G is safe. 5G is the new, super-fast wireless technology that's been rolling out across the globe. In the US, major cities like New York and Dallas have live 5G networks, and it's live in areas like China and the UK. The technology is poised to change the way we live and is expected to power everything from self-driving cars to advanced augmented reality experiences. The belief is whatever country leads in 5G will lead the world over the coming decades and possibly longer. San said she thinks broadband networks to homes can handle the extra traffic from people who are temporarily working from home. The more salient question is, will the broadband providers offer extra bandwidth and at what price, she asked. San advocates that in the current situation that companies provide more bandwidth, temporarily, for free. Rob Enderley, principal of the Enderley Group, was nonplussed about potential delays. He said while some are waiting on hardware from Asia, they can improvise solutions. They can, for a time, shift to doing infrastructure and site preparation, but the hardware shortage is undoubtedly harming timelines, he said. So while the impact won't be as dramatic as other areas, given workarounds, it will cause schedules to shift out somewhat. Roger Entner, a Boston-based telecom analyst, said so far the overall effect of coronavirus-related delays appears limited. China is the factory of the world. All of the 5G base stations are being manufactured in China, he said. I don't think there will be a big change because the coronavirus will be an effect of a couple of months. Carriers may be able to argue that this sudden influx of workers from home necessitates more investment in 5G. Meanwhile, Wi-Fi 6, which is just hitting the market, improves the speed of home Wi-Fi.